Welcome to Travel About, everybody. This is Scott, this is Leslie, and we have a brand new home. This is a 2021 Alliance of Valor. It is factory new. We just picked it up three days ago. We've already driven it. We took an as soon as we bought it, we took an 11 hour trip. So we road tested this sucker. So, uh, anyway, I'm gonna give you a quick outside tour, but I know you wanna see inside. So we're gonna do super fast out and we're gonna go in. This has 1,000 watts of solar on the roof. Solar batteries are in there. These are lithium iron batteries, I'll show you. These are the good ones. There's three of them. It's so dark you probably can't see it. There's three of them. This is in a compartment for a generator, which is not in there. This has more solar stuff in it. The inverter is in there. This is locked, but this is the auto leveling system. Guys, I've never had one before, and now I don't want anything without one. I push a button in there that says auto level and I sit back and I watch. And done. Anyway, two 30 gallon propane tanks left and right. And here is a pass through compartment. It's got your water, your shower. I said everyone's, it's locked, Leslie. Well, I locked it. But anyway, you've seen these before. There's a shower in there. You hook up your water and stuff like that. No big deal. Uh, this is 50 amp. That's what the monster surge suppressor is right there. Don't hook up with that one. This is a toy hauler. Okay, I've got three axles. Needs it for the weight. Inside of here, also locked, there is a fuel hose just like at the gas pump. Just like it with a, with a, a motor that pumps it out. Two 30 gallon fuel tanks. This is an emergency shutoff switch for the fuel. This ladder pops out. This is a walkable roof. You can get up there and walk around. Power hooks up here. This is a toy hauler. I just closed it up, so I'm not going to open it for you. But you turn a key, and this whole thing is gravity. Just and there it is. Gives you a nice patio. This is a full-blown air compressor with a tank built in. Steps, levelers. Uh, furnace, you know what all this is. Uh, we've got an outside here. Hey, I finally found one that's unlocked. We got a TV outside. We got a refrigerator. Got some outdoor speakers. Uh, we got pass through compartment. It goes all the way. I think the other one was locked. Yeah, we can get in this one. Anyway, this goes all the way through. Those are motion sensor lights. It just saw me. That's my. Uh, uh, charge controller down there for the solar you can hook up that's another cable antenna down there you can hook up cable to this thing outside if you want I don't know why I've already got a TV on it so um, this is a spray port this is a toy hauler made for um, your toys so you can bring them out here wash them off I've already tested that it works great we've got awnings that go for miles we can cover this entire rig with these two awnings there's actually a third awning I'll show you up top is three 320 watt solar panels. You can't really see them. Up top is three air conditioner units and the, um, the wine guard, which uh, we are not currently using. We are gonna look into it, see if, how cheap or expensive it is. This came with the Rotaflex. Uh, I've seen a lot of fifth wheels. They just had the solid uh, pin here. No way, man. This thing is, boy, this is nice going down the road, let me tell you. Anyway, she wants me to show the tailgate coming down, y'all. It's not raining, so I will do so. It's very easy. Oh, by the way, when you buy an Alliance Valor, this is what you get. 37,000 keys, and I still don't even know what they all do. But we'll figure it out. From inside, there is a strap inside you can pull. And from outside, there is a key. All right, guys, once you find the right key, give it a turn. And you're down. We got sliding glass doors in the back. They are glass. Um, they also have screens in them. So we can turn this into a full-fledged patio, whatever we want to do with it. It also unhooks from here, and this will drop straight to the ground and give you a ramp to drive your four-wheelers and your motorcycles up and things like that. You notice I'm raising this with one finger. Okay.
All right, guys, we are back in the garage section. This is a 13-foot garage. I apologize. We've just purchased this thing. we got a lot of stuff to move around. Um, so I just can't get to everything, but I wanted to get this video out for you. So I've got a happy jack system. I've got a queen-size bed up there. I've got two couches that can be converted into another bed. They go up and down independently. This room has a separate air conditioner from the rest of the house, and that is because this is where you may bring in a gas vehicle. They don't want the fumes getting into the rest. These are manual uh, exhausts. Pop one open there, pop one open there. Let's the breeze through, let your fumes get out of here. We've got electric. We do have a half bath right here in the outside compartment. We've got washer dryer hookup, but I'm gonna let you know on the Alliance, they did not vent the dryer. Make sure you double listen to that because we spent about a half a day with our guys trying to put a washer dryer back here and they could not run a vent. They would have literally had to drill a hole through my floor. So the only thing this is good for back here is if you've got one of those all-in-one ventless washer dryer. Well, you could do a stackable, but the dryer has to be ventless. There's nothing in there but a toilet and a tiny little sink, but it's great for if you got to stop on the side of the road or something or you got your kids sleeping back here. We've got three windows. We have our separate AC. We've got lights. This is... I'll just start counting them off for you. This is TV number one. Oh, you already saw TV number one outside. This is TV number two. Got some storage up top. We've got a very large glass tinted door there. So we can see from the living room into the garage, but from the garage, you can't see back into the living room. So you can keep an eye on things back there. They can't keep an eye on you. Here's the kitchen. This is a full-size residential graystone oven, four burner stove top, convection microwave, large convection microwave, massive cabinetry everywhere. And I know it's a mess. We just, like I said, we're just moving in. This is a, what, a 13 foot ceiling. And these cabinets go all the way to the top. Pro tip number two, if you buy an Alliance Valor, make sure you got a three step step stool. Are you not gonna get to nothing? <laughs> everything in here is is the easy close stuff magnetic for going down the road large stainless sink drying rack thing here that rolls out spray bar sorry the ac just kicked on because my doors are wide open massive pantry filled with goodies cabinetry three recliner couch here residential refrigerator freezer i know i'm doing this fast this is just a quick overview you guys can go on youtube and find a whole lot of uh the ones that are put out by the dealers if you want yeah these are electric there she goes anyway these are electric these pop in and out get them out of your way and each one of these controls also has a usb port on in fact i'm plugged into one right over there and she's going back now. Guys, I just want to show you this. So we're talking about the couch and the uh, auto recliners and everything. Uh, these people really think things through, Alliance. So if you take the couch and flip it forward. Now, you've seen this before. You get your cup holders, I'm sure. But they went a little above and beyond. They actually went ahead and put a 110 outlet in here for you. I've not seen that before. So I can go ahead and plug my laptop up here. Uh, put my drink here. Plug in my phones. Also over there. It's just... They just think about things with this uh, thing. So good alliance. You're thinking about a lot of stuff. You're talking to the right people, getting your good ideas. And um, anyway, that's it. All right. We got a big old slide out freezer with a tray. We got some pistachio ice cream right here. <laughs> Not much else. All right. I'll just sit here and point the camera this way for you. Um, 50 inch 4K ultra high definition television, JBL speaker system. 5,500 watt uh, fireplace with multiple colors in it. You can change the colors, turn the color off, whatever you want to do. It's huge. The fans have uh, rain sensor guards on them, so if you're away and your fans up and your doors open up there, it'll shut it for you. These are too high to reach, so they put everything on controls. Yeah, pull the door shut, Lozen. All right, uh, something different in these units. Uh, they've been pushing this air conditioner system called uh, Whisperless or Whisper Quiet or something. That's not what this is. They went and did something different. Uh, and you'll have to just go on their website. 
to figure it out but it's it, the air comes down and then anyway that's it it's on right now full blast we can sit here on our normal volume on the TV we're not screaming at each other um, we have another couch here that folds into a bed okay that one is not a bed that's just three recliners uh, this thing is solar powered um, there's something very very unique about the Alliance Valor and the Alliance brand that is not in any other RV currently this RV is designed to I'm just gonna use it as a maximum boondocking and I'm gonna tell you why now I'm not a technical person I'm gonna glaze over some of that for you but here's here I go first off we have 960 to be exact we have three 320 watt solar panels we have a 3000 watt inverter if I got that right and we have a charge controller so all that stuff just works we've got three lithium iron phosphate batteries the best batteries currently you can buy for solar okay you might notice on my thing I'm pointing at we're fully charged now I'm going to go over a couple things and, and see if this makes sense to you. Why is this so great for boondocking? A. You can carry 60 gallons of fuel in your own RV. If you're out boondocking, you can even uh, fuel up your, your four-wheeler to get to the store if you need to, for example. This has a built-in air compressor with tank. You can pump up tires. And here's the fun part. Everything in here, most everything in here, runs off of 12 volts automatically. This residential refrigerator and freezer, I can go out and pull my 50 amp loose right now and nothing changes. My, air con my, my uh, refrigerator will do its job. My freezer will do its job my microwave is 12 volts this is gas doesn't not affect it by anything my seats will recline and unrecline my usb chargers will charge my lights will come on i can play my television yes my 110 volt television because i'm using batteries anyway the list goes on and here's one of the most important things you need to know uh, i don't even understand how they're doing this and they don't recommend running all three of them. I have three ACs. But if you're on solar, you could actually run your air conditioner, guys. Yeah. You can run your air conditioner. These ACs will start on solar. And I know that because we did it at the dealership. I wanted to make sure it worked. You can fire two of them up if you want. You're probably going to drain your batteries pretty quick. So um, you would run one, in, like if you're in a Walmart parking lot, for example. Run one close your doors off from your bedroom just run one in your living room on a not very cold setting and then at night time flip it off and go run the one in the bedroom and as long as the sun was out and your batteries were fully charged you're, you're fine till morning and uh, that is amazing because as you know an air conditioner normally will not start off of solar there isn't enough amperage to do it but there is for these they designed this to work in that manner so imagine this i'm in a walmart parking lot I don't have a generator running. My batteries are fully charged. It's just like I'm in the campground, guys. I've got massive black tanks, massive gray tanks. All my pumps work. As long as I carried fresh water on board, I can take a shower. I can take a hot shower because guess what? That's right. My water heater is 12 volts. And my power, my outlets work. I can plug a laptop in. I can run my slides in and out. I can watch TV, put on a movie. I can cook my dinner. I can keep my stuff cold. And there you go. I'm not trying to brag. I'm just telling you. That's what this thing does. Now, obviously, the more juice you suck away from it, the less time you're going to get out of it. Um, and if you are somewhere, let's say, in a Walmart parking lot or out in the woods, and you've got full, full sunlight on your panels, well, they're going to charge as you're using it. Um, so you can probably crank up two ACs in a hot summer's day. I'm not going to say you should, but you could. Anyway, 
I just wanted to add that uh, that part so that you understand the value you get with a Valor. Oh, by the way, the washer dryer did not come with this unit. We did we we cut a deal with the uh, dealership, but I won't tell you about that deal. I'll just tell you what they cost, not what we paid. Uh, we paid uh, they costed uh, twenty six hundred dollars installed. This is the main control panel. This is for your generator, which is not in there, but if it were, I could just come over here and push the button and start it. Room lights, all everything in here is on dimmers. All of your controls, all your slides, and all of your awnings, pretty standard. Yeah, we've got room darkening shades everywhere. These have some uh, their own light switch over here, like so. Uh, the, yep, these are on hydraulic hinges to hold them up. Uh, how many campers have you been in where you have to get two people to hold the stupid door up? Big up here. Anyway, I'm going to keep moving for you. I did want to show you this. They did something very special with the front steps. We're going up now. we got a shoe compartment. Step one, step two. I hope the bathroom is not a mess. Well, it's not too bad. We did take a shower in here. Hey, man, you see it the way I do it. Small countertop. Big compartment up there. Fairly small medicine cabinet. This is a residential shower. I'm going to pull these towels down so you can see something. Residential shower with a molded seat. Nice big shower head. It works fantastic. Sliding glass door. That is glass. Um, oh my gosh, the bedroom is a disaster, but you're going to see it. All right, bedroom is also on dimmers. We got our own AC unit in the bathroom, in the bedroom. King size bed, Serta full size king. Chest of drawers. Uh, we did put a washer dryer in our unit. So we've got front loading washer and dryer here. We've got hangers and closet space over there. And um, under the bed, big old storage space under the bed. All right, that's enough looking at our mess. Oh, all these are sliders, by the way. Slides, slides. These are good heavy doors, too. Yeah. They, they thought about the little things, y'all. Let me turn that light back on. They thought about the little things. So this is a, a piece of metal on the floor and a, ma a magnetic catch. This is for your door. Now you see that this build out here was for something for outside. So, boom. So it stops your door from hitting anything and holds it shut for you. Or holds it open for you. Oh, I forgot to count TVs. Outside one, garage two, living room three, bedroom four. Okay, uh, these TVs are all, I don't even know what it's called, something about key alike or something. Key, well, TV, I don't know what it means, but it means if you're watching one channel in one place, you can watch the same thing on another one. I'm going to show you these steps. This is very innovative. And our wind-resistant door. Yeah, we're having a really hard, uh, big windstorm right now. These doors are not moving. I took this door the other day and slammed it open as hard as I could. Whoosh! It did barely move. All right, guys, you guys have seen these solid steps before, but watch this one. One finger. Look at that. It's on a hydraulic thing inside, and then you just take it and finish it off. And then when you're opening, when you're opening, because this is a big old heavy thing, when you're opening it, you can basically just let it drop, and it's going to stop. And there it is right there. It's on that hydraulic and then I'm, I'm just pushing this down with the tip of my finger right now and uh, these are adjustable I did have to adjust them here uh, this was locked maybe well, that's why I didn't show you that TV guys I just wanted to give you a quick overview of this I know there's a, a lot of YouTube videos out there right now uh, from the dealers trying to sell these things and they're just going over specs I just want to show you what it is to live in one uh, we're our third day living in it uh, this countertop flips up, gives you a little extra space. There's two bar stools right here. There's another big cabinet right here. When you go buy this thing, they're going to tell you that these bar stools are going to fit in that slot. They will not fit in that slot. I'm telling you right now, they're wrong on that. And I'll talk to Alliance about that too. And that's the thing about Alliance, you can go read up on them. Uh, and the reason they're called Alliance, you can go read all that, but it's... Um, 
they've sort of taken two major brands, the children, and they formed a new alliance, and they've created this. And they only make a few. There's only a few floor plans, and they load them. They just load them. And what they did is they went out and they listened to uh, people, customers, and they said, what do you want in an RV? And this is what the people, people have wanted. Anyway, we're back out in the garage. This is called L Track. That's L track. You got to go online and buy your attachments. They do not come with the rig. They're not cheap. Three or four dollars a piece for each attachment. But uh, you can strap them. There's all kinds of attachments, man. It's crazy the stuff you can rig up back here. Uh, this is we're, we're converting this to office space. So I'll do another video called Our Office Space is Finished. And uh, you can see what we've done. I'll be adding some shelving and tables. Uh, we're not going to use this. I've got my ladder for the outside up there, and I got my ladder. Oh, I didn't show you. There's another. There's there's more room. I didn't show you. There's a bunk bed, a loft. I forgot to show you the loft. That's a loft. It goes all the way to, all the way to the end. I have all of our old totes and stuff that we don't need up there. It's sitting on top of a mattress. They're not going to slide around. Um, and there is a ladder for that which I have placed up there. There are straps up on the queen bed up there to hold everything down. So there's just the same ladder that you saw on the front over there is the same ladder that goes on the back porch. It just doesn't have the hydraulic thing on it. Anyway, that's it, y'all. That's it for y'all. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, the, trying to give you the real deal on this Alliance Valor. It's a beautiful looking camper. It goes very well with our black truck. If you worried about that kind of thing it's got all the extras it's got all the upgrades all the amenities they're just already there you don't even have to ask for them they're already there um and you're probably going to say well scott how much is it i think it listed i'm gonna tell you the truth guys i'm not gonna lie to you i think this lists out retail at 122 this is for the uh upgraded solar package which is it's like on the price list and it's i think they all had it but be careful because they could just have a single panel up there uh, and we got three panels so anyway uh, about 122 um, something like that there's a um, crazy thing going on right now with with uh, campers you're not going to get much of a discount but you can pick this up for uh, I'm gonna say you can pick this up right under a hundred and if you're trading something in you can do even better um, I'm not gonna give you exact price because every dealer is different and every trade is different uh, We added every flipping warranty known to man. I don't care what they threw on the desk. We bought it Wouldn't you hundred thousand dollars wouldn't you buy every warranty they got? Yeah, you, you better you better don't even look at them. Just buy them. Just buy them buy everything um, We got warranties we don't even know what we have <laughs> but if we ever need it We're good to go man. We even got roadside assistance. We got it all Guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. You're going to see me and Leslie in this Valor quite a bit. We are full-time RV, and we've been doing it for about eight months now. Uh, we have stuff scheduled and planned for the, about the next year. It's going to be awesome. And I am very much looking forward to it. So make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. That's way, that way, when I throw a new one out, you'll see what I'm doing. And um, share the video. Hit the like button. If I didn't say that, I probably did. And um, we'll see you soon on the next video, y'all. In the Valor.